30 minutes from our place. It's true, you guys. One of the belts on our truck died, and we were 30 minutes away from home. Flowers like so deep. Can't find cold water. Left her on the breeze. Even when the truck broke, we took it with ease. brother-in-law Wayne for help and then it started raining and then the thunder came and we thought why not cook some steak in fact that happened because we were both a little cranky and I said I think we should eat now oh not yet Right there. I'm gonna have to start, I'm gonna have to be a flutist. I enjoy that. What was I doing? It's okay, you guys, we'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, that was donuts on my mind. You guys, this playlist is all available to you. Also, if you guys want to listen, it's under Sunny D. Oh, and you guys, you know this song. I'm still here in this bed that I crawled in. I haven't heard this in a long time. I hope that I am someone else in the morning. So take this one, wash it down, and you'll be fine. Then walk around in a floating chalk outline. And so it goes, let it be. In the gallows, I balance on my toes so I can breathe. Little and bit by bit, I'll push it back down with a new habit. If not for long, just for a while, I'll bury myself with a great big smile. Oh my, my, oh my, my, we trace ourselves in these chalk outlines. Oh my, my, oh my, my, we raise ourselves in these chalk outlines. Hello, Allie. How are you, Mademoiselle? I'm doing so good. May I make you your regular? Would you like to pick any details or shall I? I shall do it. Let's do it. Absolutely, Allie. May I warm that for you? Am I warming it for a tiny human or a big one? It's for both. Gotcha. But we can warm it. Okay, you got it. See, I see. You need a bigger space. 
Or you just need more space. I can only appreciate that. So, Yes. Which I not, is it, like, is it the size, like, small enough that it can fit in your phone so you can, like, yes. I can only appreciate that. Oh, so this is going to be fun because it's going to open up a world of possibilities with the size you can do. Oh. Okay, well, I'm glad that you can use that Cricut vinyl. I'll bring it for you. Let's do it. I even made a post, guys, and someone said, like, maybe someone sent it to you by mistake. And I was hoping if they did, they would let me know, and then I could get it back to whomever sent it. But nobody hit me up, so now I just have cricket line. Sorry, I'm cleaning my counters and I've moved everything. Well, that sounds wonderful. Is there anything else I can do for you, Mademoiselle? Okay, I need coconut raspberry. You like morning, Hudson? I like your goggles. Are you going swimming today? Why are you wearing those? I love that. They do? I like that they have a strap so they can't fall off your face. I look yellow! Oh my gosh! Whoa, now what color am I? Oh my, oh that's funny. Whoa! Yes. Isn't that like magic? Isn't that so cool how you can do that? Oh, I love that for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing the world through those yellow goggles. Have a good day, okay? I'll see you. Okay. You're welcome, Allie. Have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow with Cricket Vinyl. Goodbye, Pumpkin Pie. Okay, Back at it like a clean addict. Back at it like a snack addict. Back at it like a... Uh, back at it like something appropriate. She's allowed to say on the internet. That's right. All right, bear counter. Are you guys ready to reset it with me? Here we go. I will always, always, always be on your side. I will always, always stand with you in pride. I will always, always standing in the gap. The kindness of a stranger starts here with me. It's true, a hug doesn't cost anything, but it can change the world. Love in any language, celebrating all the colors of the rainbow. Always, always stand with you in pride. I will always, always, always stand with you in pride. Together we can change the world. Wonderful. I, 
I will say, however, Chris and I were there not too long ago, and we saw a spruce beetle. And I was like, burn the campsite down. We don't need it anymore. Yeah, all of them. Oh my gosh, I just couldn't believe spruce beetles. Yeah. And it was like on, it was on the windshield of our truck, and like we had our windshield wipers, and it would not leave. Really? Yeah, it was like, I'm going to bite you, and then I'll go. Oh my god. Yeah, I have a fear of spruce beetles. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I was shocked. I was like, we're going to go back here more often. It's just so, so wonderful. Beautiful. Especially like back in the day, we used to go there with all of the kids because it's so nice and paved for them with their bicycles and stuff. Yeah, it's so nice. I know. Did you take a dip in the lake? Yeah. Was it, it was bitterly warm. cold? It was warm. Yeah. Oh, it was warm? It was pretty warm. Really? There was probably 100 people in the water. Wow. Well, you weren't swimming in lake anymore. You were swimming in urine. And that's always warm. Right? Yes, 100%. And it's not all seaweedy and gross. No, Mobile is really nice. Does it, do you know, does it ever get seaweedy and gross? I don't no, think it does, does it? Yeah. Oh, really? Under the water. Oh, you can. But not really. Was there any action at the mansion? Could you guys see it? The mansion. Yeah. So right on the far side of the lake, across from the provincial. Yeah. If you're looking from the provincial, it's gonna be like straight across and probably like a little bit on your left. Yeah. There's like a gigantic mansion out there, or like a house. It's like a big log house. Yes, 100. percent I just like to look at it with binoculars. I've never seen a person there though. Oh, to be a fly on the wall of that house. Oh, yeah. Right? I know. Well, you have a beautiful day, my friend. Is there anything else I can do for you? That's it. All right, all right, man. I'll see ya. Good morning. How are you today? Good. What can I serve you? Oh, yes. Now, I do a French vanilla cappuccino, my friend. I don't do a classic like milk and espresso, but I can do a fresh brew with cream and sugar if you want to taste your coffee juice. Uh, I could even do an Olay where I froth the milk. Yes, uh huh. It's like frothy and sweet, and I can mix it half with fresh brew. Let's do it. Can I make you a big one? And shall we do whipping cream and cinnamon on top? No, that was too much. We didn't know where the line was. We found it. Anything else I can get you? Beautiful 515, my friend. Is this your first time? Uh, well, it's been a while. It's been a little while. I almost couldn't tell. You were almost a pro. I'm going to trade you right across for this bad boy, which just works you to a free coffee at the end of it. Shall I send you with a copy of your receipt? Uh, no, I don't need it. Beautiful, sir. Then I'll be right back with that French vanilla. Are you enjoying this beautiful day now that the fog is burning off? Oh, yeah. I kept hearing it was beautiful up top, but I couldn't believe folks for the longest time. I know. It's supposed to be a high of 25 degrees today. Through the pain and skin riding on wheels. All right, and there you go, my friend. You. You're welcome. Have a great day. Goodbye. You guys, this song is called River's Mercy, and this song is about when Chris burned his leg, and it's about the first responders that came and helped us out, and also the people who were around us that helped us. If you're new here, in May, Chris and I were at the river, and we were using our jet boil to boil water for coffee, and when the water had begun to boil, Chris went to lean over it, and it tipped back, and it gave him third degree burns, or second degree burns, no, second degree burns on 10% of his right leg. And so we had to get him away from the river. We had to borrow a quad from someone who was down there fishing. And we had to call first responders to take us to the hospital. And Chris was so impacted, he made this whole song about it. And it's beautiful. Chris, if you're here, your song is beautiful. Okay, my friends, we have done counters and we are crossing this off. And the last thing for us to do is combine syrups. Are you ready, my friends? Ooh, I know you all said yes. We got 1,000, 1,100 people here and I can feel all of that encouragement. Ah! Okay, syrup. And the lesson harshly learned Through the shark and the shark cocaine riding on wheels Okay, first thing we do, my friends, is get down my partially used bottles to see which I can fill into the ones on the go. So 
still got time. Now, Laura, you guys, whilst I was on my break, I did touch in with all of my um, notifications. And I wanted to say thank you guys so much for giving me feedback, both being happy about the no comments and not being happy about the no comments. I really, truly appreciate the open communication that we have here. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much.
Joe Donovan, you say a raspberry and you say nothing else for you today. Nope, just the raspberry ginger ale, but it's good. How is work going? It's hot. It's it's warm again today, hey? Yeah. I was actually thinking that. I was yeah. enjoying the cool temperatures in here. I know, the fog was nice. I know. Once it starts cooling off more, I'll be able to take off my tint, which will be wonderful because it's very dark in here. Yeah, yeah. It is nice to have the fog burnt off though, and I know that that comes with the hot temperature. Yeah. It does feel very snoozy when we're soft in down here. It makes all the difference, doesn't it? Who buildings and stuff really, really I've only ever heard rumors, yeah. and I do not want to experience that. Especially when it's a heat wave outside. Yeah. That's wild, man. And then there's a lot of humidity in it too, right? Steam leaves and such. Gotta be good for the skin, maybe, perhaps? All that humidity? No, maybe no, not. No, it's all asbestos and let me Oh my, it's the exact so. opposite. <laughs> oh, no, down the pin. All right. Donovan, today's my first day back to live. Do you think Kiana is watching? I'll let her know if she's probably not. Kiana, if you're here, Donovan says hi, and he loves you. I know that's what he meant to say. Just in case. Yeah, she's probably pretty tied up with the, uh, the new puppy. And the new house, the yeah. new baby, the new wedding. Yeah. Like, literally. Yeah, she's a busy girl. I really love that for you guys. Yeah, I, yeah. I imagine that when your season calms down, the peace will be really nice for yeah. you, too. And I love that. It's been a big year. It's been a huge year, man. All right, Bill, for you, sir. Gracias. Anything else I can do for you? Oh, this is a beautiful card. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, VC's getting better. Yeah, they are, man. All right, my friend, I'm taking 645 from you this morning. Perfect. For you. Awesome, You're welcome. Have a day. Little by little, bit by bit. I push it back down with a new heavy. If not for long, just for a while, I'll bury myself with a great big smile. Oh my, my, oh my, my. Hello, Dakota. I'm getting over you. Are you here for your regular? Uh, blackberry, raspberry, strawberry, lime. Right? Right? It's cool. I think I'm right, but let's double check because I have it right here just in case. What'd you say? I'm pretty sure you're correct. I think I'm right. I used to have it here. Oh, never mind. I took it down. Well, I think I'm right. Is there anything else I might serve you, Mademoiselle? Okay, be beautiful.
Alright, Mademoiselle. You are so welcome. Trade you a free one. Ooh. Do you have your new punch card, Mademoiselle? For you. Have a beautiful day. No, that's okay. I was going to compliment your shirt, but we'll do it next time. Okay, goodbye, Dakota. See you. Got a tonic joy. And a spread like a mushroom cloud. Hello, Governor. How are you today? I'm doing so good, thank you. What may I serve you, sir? Yes, indeed. Black like my soul on a Wednesday morning, other than the cinnamon? Beautiful. And what else may I serve you? I do have the cookies, absolutely. I also have a brand new goodie from that baker. It's a lemon loaf. Are cookies your final answer, sir? Uh, yeah. Let's do it, absolutely. And you say a scotch of cinnamon on this black light roast. Now, did you bring for me your punch card, sir? Yes, I did. I owe you a good solid punch. Thank you. Can I tap your money card? Let's do it. With our cookies, it's going to make our damage today 780. Is that right? Shall I bring you a copy of the receipt? No. Beautiful. It's starting to get warm out there now, eh? It is. Almost time for me to turn my fan on. There you are, sir. With station station. In the turbulent sky, and I'm going by my side.
Yes. So when did you do the doy one? Uh, Around the rodeo? No, 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 about two weekends ago. Cool. Was it like an organized ride? or all like pasture rides? That's amazing. Did you tell me yes to cinnamon? Yes, you did. That sounds... Always to cinnamon. Okay, I love that. Never to dairy, always to cinnamon. Ah! Well, it's very nice to see you today. I feel like this has been the first time this summer that I've served you. It's fun to... I can only appreciate that. Your time is precious, Mariah. The thing about seeing each other less often is that it's much more precious when it's rare. Yes, yes. There you go. You're so welcome. And then I will take those for you. Gracias. May I tap your money card, mademoiselle? Beautiful. I'm going to take five seventy-five from you. Is that okay? Oh, my gosh. Isn't that so great? And then if, if we're not doing that one, we're doing this one. The other day, one of my customers was uh, cleaning my counter over here while she was waiting for me to serve someone. And she said, Jessica, would you be offended if I made you a new tip cup? Because mine was grubby and shameful. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're afraid of change? Yeah, I'm afraid. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, my friend, it was a treat to serve you today. Be very safe getting out of Taylor. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> Bye, Mariah. Okay, you guys, I have to turn on my fan. Oh my gosh, Ashlyn. Music plays, 421 and still counting. Thank you so, so much. I've never seen that sticker before. Thank you. Holy guacamole, Batman. It's still going. Okay, you guys, I have to turn on my fan because it's very hot. And what that means is that right up here, I'm going to plug in this cord. And I'm also going to close this blind because I have tinted this window, but it's still very high. Ashlyn or Ash Lane. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. 482. I'm going to close this because this is a heat blocking blind. And what I've done is I've just turned on. So this fan right here is going to suck all of the air or blow. Do you suck or do you blow? It doesn't matter. It sucks or it blows. And it's going to circulate my air in something like 10 minutes. And it'll help cool me off. But it also makes it very loud in here. Ella, thank you for the finger heart. Sorry, that was very loud and snappy. Okay, my friends, we are going to reset and then keep combining syrup. You guys, I'd like to tell you, this song is playing. I don't actually know why Chris made it, but it's called Don't Think About It. And it's another one of the AI songs. And it started to be a little bit of an anthem for me when I'm having a hard day. Erica, you just extended your one month subscription. Thank you. KT, thank you for the ice cream cone. Sylvia, thank you for the roses. Anyways, the song is called Don't Think About It. And it's been my go-to anthem when I'm feeling chaos in my soul. And it's literally just a pleasing melody with the words, don't think about it. We're going to listen to it together. Call me. Do not think about it. I like jamming out on my piano to this. I'm just on my keyboard. Do not think about it. started making music to go with the pieces of creative works that we've been making for you. So if we have an adventure day and I'm going to do a vlog, M, you just sent your first gift and it was to me and it was a tiny diny with a tiny hiney. Thank you so much. Anyways, it's really, really added a third dimension to storytelling. It's kind of like if you've ever been to Disneyland and you've gone to the, um, um, or it might be at Disney Universal. I can't remember, but I think it's a Bugs Life show where you like sit down on benches and as the show is happening they spritz like puffs of scent into your nose and like when ants are crawling the seat kind of does a little you know what i mean and it's like 
multi-dimensional storytelling. That's what this AI does when you can make music because you can make a soundtrack to your adventure. It's amazing. And I started utilizing it in so many aspects of life. So for example, my sister who had surgery had to have her catheter out and I made her a song that was her catheter saying goodbye to her and then it was time for them to go on their own adventures alone. Oh, I just really, really love it. Uh, I think that the app or the website we use is called Suno, S-U-N-O, and I think that's correct, but I'll double check. And it's just so powerful. Ooh. Help me to not think about it. Sherry. TN Inked, thank you for the TikToks. Inked, I'm gonna assume that says Inked Mama. I don't know, but I bet you got some good ink. You guys, somebody also said we were on the popular lives this morning. Somebody sent me a screenshot. And again, you guys, I can't take any credit for that. You guys do that. So thank you so much for being here with me during my work day, during my life. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. season of live but just in case this is a song that he made oh my gosh you guys do I have hard days a lot I'm here to tell you spoiler alert I do because I'm human I know I know but that's okay because it is human to struggle my friend it is also human to overcome and Chris made me this song when I was having a hard day it's called great day for a great day are you ready Wake up, Jessica, it's a brand new morn. Yeah, it is. Sun is peeking through, a new day is born. Woo! Birds are singing loud, breeze is cool and sweet. Step into the light, feel the rhythm beat. It's a great number one and league d2 number one and i don't know what that means but i thank you for it i feel like number one today together we'll be strong we'll chase away the clouds we'll sing a happy
song, but a remix. Woo! Okay. I've made a grand mess. I've recovered, and now we're gonna fill Black Cherry. Breeze is cool and sweet. Step into the light. Feel the rhythm beat. It's a great day. You guys, do you recognize this is the same song? Smile wide and shout, hey, let's toss those blues away. Woo! Next is peach, my friends. Sugar-free peach, that is. Oh, just kidding. Look how full that is. My hand, my love. Together we'll be strong. We'll chase away the clouds. We'll sing a happy song. It's a great day to have a great day. Smile wide and shout, hey. Peppermint, too full, cannot fill. Also, too full to fill. My friends, in case you have forgotten, when you are looking at the syrups, the blue strip is a signifier of sugar-free, and the regular gold strip is regular syrup, not sugar-free. In case you're ever looking at these bottles thinking, what is the difference? All right, you guys, now we have combined all of the partials I had on the go, but now we need to look and see what syrups are very low and about to empty out that we need to change over. Now, I change over my plastic bottles when the syrup level gets below. Can you see these divots? One, two, three. When it gets below the last one, that's when I fill them. And I just eyeball it on the glass bottles because they don't have those same divots. But I'm gonna start with my regular syrups over here and I'm gonna pull anything that needs filled. Like this guy. Oh my gosh, it's definitely below the divot, my friends. Yes, yes, but what else needs to be filled? Oh my gosh. Watermelon, look at that, watermelon. He's about to leave that pump alone because all the watermelon's gone. All right, my friends, do we need anything else? Lavender, no, coconut, no. Lima, oh my gosh, look at, where is all my lima gone? In the cupboard, my friends, or in your belly, perhaps. All right, what else? Catch, my friends, is looking a little bit low. Let's see if we can fill that. Also, my friends, Huckleberry and green apple. My friends, the greenest of all the apples, and look how low that is. Is there anything else you might ask? Why, yes, there is, my friends. Also, orange needs to be filled, because look at that, look at that. And this is an orange that starts with blee, but I don't know if I can say that word on TikTok without being age restricted. All right, my friends, I do believe that that is all of the sugary syrups that we are going to fill today. Let's see what we have in our cupboard, starting with orange. I got an orange, you guys. You guys, I'm so excited to share this playlist of music that we have made with you. But also, you guys, we have to take a second and we got to listen to the Pink Pony Club, the Plankton cover from SpongeBob because it's just so excellent. And I've only listened like 10 times today. Someone's here. It's Ben. Hola, Ben. How are you, my friend? Oh, I'm doing so good. Hello, Nandy. How are you doing, my sweet girl? Here you go, Ben. Boys and girls can all be queens every single day. I'm with the dreams of leaving Tennessee and Santa Monica. Won't make my mama proud. There you go, sir. You're welcome. Have a beautiful day, Ben. I'll see you guys tomorrow. You're a pink pony girl, and you dance at the club, oh mama. We need a 
was real good today. Today, 
You got this. And kiss you from your feet to your toes. I like your soul, baby. Woo! I'm gonna love you till I'm old, baby. I just wanna be your baby. I like your soul. We only have three more to go, my friends. Watermelon, sugar-free, blackberry, and peach. Must have died and gone to heaven. Oh, did I see Pete flying? Woo! Christmas is saved, you guys. I found one line, too. We mother of Moses. I just want to buy you roses. Open every door that closes And kiss you from your head to your toes I like your soul, baby for you. Just ask if you see the string. 
I'm not going to tell you what happens next. Miranda! Miranda found out what happened in my good intention bag. I'm excited to show more of you. What else have I gotten into? Um, I've really started to see how beautiful a lot of the rocks that I- Oh, just became, just became a 12-month subscriber. Welcome to the Krubies! I really started realizing how beautiful the rocks underneath my feet were, and I just step on them every single day. So I started picking up the ones that are really beautiful and I went to Walmart this week and I got myself a rock tumbler, a National Geographic rock tumbler. And so I am now tumbling the precious rocks that I find. And it's a really, really fun. It's like a treasure hunt every time I walk on the road. Oh, you guys know this song. You're on TikTok. Why, hello, sir. I'm good. How are you today? Good. What may I serve you? One sugar, two cream. Do you prefer a light or dark? One sugar, two cream, light rose. Oh, shoot, sir. I just saw I ran myself out of light. I can brew it right now. Is that okay? Are you sure? I apologize for disappointing you so. Is there anything else I might serve you today? Oh, it's so good. If you have uh, a choice, would you rather an outside piece or an inside piece? Outside piece? Let's do it. Are you a cinnamon kind of a guy? No. Here is your cafe first, sir. There you go. The outside is a beautiful choice because the icing grips all the way over the end, but no one remembers the icing. They just think it's an end piece. They don't get enough love. So kudos to you for making a good decision. Is there anything else I can do for you today? Beautiful. Sir, I'm keeping $8 from you. Is that all right? Oh, I just have to reconnect my Bluetooth really fast. I apologize. It's keeping all of your change. There you go, sir. Very good, thank you. It's been a very exciting day in my life. 
Indeed. Yeah, just me by myself in my tuna can. Because live was the biggest thing in my life. And when I say by myself, I mean, we have 1,800 people here with us right now. I know, I know. Where are you off to, my friend? Did your whole family hold themselves together over the weekend? Yes. There was no more broken people. No more broken. And how is every how's Brock's foot? I think it's getting better. It's getting better. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. How is Justin's collarbone? It is coming out of pretty color. Is it is it yellow yet or oh. still purple? Oh no, it's yellow. It's yellow it's now? Like a mustard yellow green. Ooh, my favorite color to wear. Not perhaps on my skin, but on my body. Yeah. Is it all going all the way down his arm? Is that what oh, you were describing right. to me? Wowie, man. Is he experiencing a lot of discomfort? Um, he wasn't, and then the last couple of days, yes, today so far, it's Okay. It's always hard once you get into the healing stage, because then that sharp pain goes into a dull ache that feels like it'll never leave you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, we'll see. Can I get a biscuit? Indeed, you may. May I warm it for you, mademoiselle? Let's do it!
Nice! Thank you so much! Ooh, and we're lining you up for your free one for next time. Heck yeah, my man. All right, this bad boy is precious. And then 2170 is going to be your damage. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And I'll be right back with your goods, you guys.
from the stone. TikTok, are you ready to get shooketh? Here it comes. In three, two, one.
can give you guys value added for that sub at this time because my comments are turned off. And I think that that's okay, you guys, because I'm very happy to just be here hanging out with you, but I don't want you guys to feel like you spent your money and that you're not getting enough for it. So just know, hello, pulpit. You match your card today. Oh my gosh, I love it. And that little, is that a little devil tail poking out up there? So the red matches him and matches the extra bits on top of your car too. I'm really enjoying this whole situation. Yes, thank you. Are you here for my drink of the day? It's called Fight Club and it's watermelon, strawberry, and peach with a bit of sour if you're feeling extra spicy. Should we try it? Now the only thing is that I don't have white monster today so we have to talk about our base. But we could do the strawberry dream with watermelon and peach if you want. We could do the paradise. We could do the pineapple and throw a little citrus in there. What do you think? Pineapple. You think the pineapple sounds good? Yeah. Is there anything else I might serve you, mademoiselle? Be You're good today? You mean in your belly or in your soul or both? I like that. Halfway through the week and still feeling strong. You're all done now? Oh my gosh, so you're in your summer season right now. How is it feeling? Does it? When you were done, did you feel like... I cried. Did you cry? Is it? It was just a buildup of emotion, hey? Oh, good for you. Oh, to camp or just to see it? Is there something new happening at the dam? Oh, you're just gonna check it out. Nice. That's wonderful. There's always eagles, it seems like, flying around there. Mm -hmm. I often see a lot of eagles in that area. I don't know why. The last time, actually, we were coming home from that direction a couple of weeks ago and our vehicle broke down on the side of the road. Yeah, so we pulled out the barbecue and we waited for our recovery vehicle to come and get us. And I saw we were really close to one of those man-made eagle perches. You know how they made some as they were doing the dam? I've never been so close to one. And it looks like someone put some, like, twigs and stuff in it to get it started. But it didn't look like it had been used. And it got me wondering how those things work. Like, are eagles territorial and they keep the same nest forever? Do they move it? I don't know. It's interesting, isn't it? I know so little about birds and their nesting behavior. And same thing, we have a lot of grouse around our house, and I was researching them once, and what I didn't realize is that I believe the males are more transient and the females are less so, or maybe it's the exact opposite. But we came across a mama with grouse, and she like fluffed up at us and was being a little bit uh, hostile because she was scared. And I had never seen a grouse do anything but run away. I was like, good for you, mama. That's all right, you don't let us near them. What do you think? Do you like it? You do like it? Isn't that the worst though? Because then you're like, is this the one thing I didn't like? Is it one flavor or was it one drink of the day? You always do the drink of the day. What was that? What was your go-to? You had that notebook that you had for a while. We haven't been using it. It's right there. Oh my gosh, it's so close and yet so far. <laughs> At least it's there when we need it. I know, right? Yeah, 100%. All right, Mademoiselle. Well, you have a beautiful day. I am not sure now if that's fog or smoke because I can't smell anything. But the fog should have burned off by now. I know. It's weird, right? I hope so. It feels good to breathe in, at least today. I'm going to try my very best. I'm an hour away from home time, and I'm going back to the garden then. It's going to be a good afternoon for it. Heck yes. Or a big hat. Or both. Yeah, but you have to have the white stuff. You have to have it. You have to have it. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Have a beautiful day. Bye. I'm going
keep on dancing at the Pink Pony Club. Chris says he hears Big Booty Club. So I sing Pink Pony Club and he sings Big Booty Club. Okay, you guys, here we go. Our first question from Nona. I am so thankful that you come back to TikTok Live. It was a good decision to keep comments turned off. Nona, thank you for weighing in, my friend. What music station do you listen to? It's so chill. We have listened to two different stations today. My basic liked playlist on Spotify and also our Sunny D playlist, which is going to be the new one for the show. And as we make more music, I'll keep adding that to you guys. And you can find it on Spotify under Sunny D. I wish we could send the stickers still without the comments being on. Oh, I wish we could send the stickers still. Oh, yes, Allie. You mean like for our... our Kruby stickers. I know, I know. Will you start going live on Twitch again? I've missed you so much. Thank you so much for bringing us back. I think you're saying you're so welcome. You guys, I don't have any plans to live stream on Twitch. And this is why. When I started live streaming on Twitch, I'm going to turn off my fan for a little bit because it's loud. When I started live streaming on Twitch, we wanted to see what diversifying did and also I wanted to save all of those shows and Twitch did it for us automatically. But those shows were quite small, like there were small groups in them and it utilized my whole extra phone. So I do not have plans on going back to Twitch at this time. However, Chris is going to work on downloading these lives as soon as I'm done with them so that we can utilize them in different ways. And I'm still gonna be conscious about my music playlist and when I play it, etc., etc., for you guys so that we don't have any copyright problems or less of them. Okay, okay, I'm gonna fill my beans and I'm gonna get your next question. How are you today, Jess? How was your first stream back? You guys, I'm doing really, really good. Leading up until today, I have just, I've kept oscillating. Am I ready? Am I not ready? Do I have everything figured out that I want to before I go back? Because I kept telling myself, I can have my return one time and it can be whenever I want it to be. And you guys weren't putting any pressure on me, so I thank you very much. And then I just had to decide, am I ready? And honestly, you guys, deciding what to do with these comments has been a big part of that because I feel like with turning them off, I feel as though I, j I mean, I know, I know you guys know. Before, it was kind of like I was in an auditorium with 2,000 people every day, and all of those people could talk directly to me, which was wonderful. But at some point, you just get stuck replying to 2,000 people, and you're not really thoughtful about what you're bringing to the room. And so now, I kind of picture it the same way. I'm in an auditorium with 2,000 people, and I'm on the stage, only this time, I have to be thoughtful about what I bring you every day. And I'm really looking forward to that. I really am. But also, it's scary, because it's new. How do we ask you stuff? I was on your live, but I have it turned off. Kim, I see you. Kim, in my stories, I have an ask me anything right now. And that's where people are chatting. In my stories on Instagram, Kim, if you have a question for me. Okay, you guys, next one. Can you show us what the biscuits look like? Also, welcome back. Heather, thank you for asking. Yes, as soon as I'm done filling my beans, I'll do a goodie tour with you guys today. Let's do it. Are you excited to be back on live? Yes, you guys, I am very excited to be back on live. But again, I really take this space really seriously and I wanna make sure that I'm putting light into the world and that my space is putting light out into the world. And so you guys, I would like to ask you, how do you guys feel? Do you like this change? Do you not like this change? Again, I don't promise to change anything, but I do like to hear how you guys feel. But personally, I'm really enjoying it. And also, I think you guys are going to know more about me and you're going to get to see more inside my mind because I'm going to tell you why I'm doing things instead of just reacting, if that makes sense. Hello, Andrew. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. First day back, Andrew. Oh, you want to say hi? Yeah, you're back. Do you want to wave? You guys, look, Andrew's arm is here. Oh my gosh, there's a whole person. Hello, Andrew. Welcome back, TikTok. Welcome back, TikTok. We've missed you, haven't we, Andrew? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. May I make you a hot or a cold, my friend? A cold for me and a cold for Brianna. A cold for me and a cold for Brianna. Let's do it. And she is going to do, did she tell you an icy lemonade? No. She just whatever she, she didn't tell me anything, so I'm just getting her one. So whatever oh she God. regularly gets. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to give her a strawberry green tea lemonade. Sure. Are you having a good day, Andrew? I'm busy. Busy in a good way? Uh, yes, we know. I can appreciate that. Same thing we've been working on the last three days. Oh, man. 
still trying to find that? End You're of that still line? trying to find the end of it? <gasps> oh dear. I have to imagine that that is a very hard day for you guys. Uh, it's been a pain in the ass. Seriously, so what do you do? You just keep digging a trench until you find it? Back and back and back, and yeah. We're following this, we're following their, their blow out. Mm -hmm. Because we cameraed their blow out, mm -hmm. but it goes way down, and then we found that it is actually the main line, but where the main line should be, it wasn't. So we're like, all right, well, what the hell? So, so you think following it moved? Their so did it move up. since you found it? No. Again? No. Okay. No, we never found it. Oh no. So now we gotta find the end of their line, and then yeah. Well, I'm sorry you guys are yelling with that. That's terrible. Yeah. And then it's been lasting since last week. I talked to Mike about this last week. Yeah. Oh. At least you guys know what you're doing every day. Right? Yeah. Is everybody working on it? Me and Brianna are You and Brianna are right now? Mike and Jamie are dealing with everything else. What's everything? Oh, like just the regular things? The rounds and yes. everything else yeah. that needs to be done. Cause Holding it all together. Yeah. Is Brock back to work this week? With his foot? Has he... Brock did, I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know that? Oh, oh he's gone, hey? Brock with the district, yeah. Oh man, I didn't know that. Well, that makes sense why I haven't seen it. Yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So, are you guys hired? Or yes. did you already hire? We're hiring. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So, I haven't been out the loop too long. No. When was, when was his last week? Last week? Week before? Uh, I think school last okay. week. I don't okay. Know. Oh, I hope he does something exciting. Do you know what he's going to do next? No. Right now, as far as I know, he's just kind of chilling out. Yep. Yeah. Right now, he knows what he doesn't want to do. Yeah, well, they're doing the yeah. afternoon, right? When so, is that? Uh, Not too long. Yeah, a week or two weeks away or something like that. So he's just going to chill till then. So he's chill until then, and then going to go do that, and then from there, I don't know what he's going to do. Oh, a new adventure for our bra. Yeah. Uh, oftentimes, those are at the end of a tumultuous journey, and I hope that that was not the case. Yeah. But still, new changes are often a good thing. Exactly. Yes. Powerful perspective. Yeah. A district job, I would imagine, is wonderful because it's a retirement job, but he's very young. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's a lot of bureaucracy and other bullshit and, you know. Mm-hmm. I have to imagine that comes with hoodles anytime you work for a municipality. Anything, really. Honestly, right. it's really true. It's just more obvious than others. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, may I get you any hoodles, my friend? I'll have a biscuit. What does Brianna usually get? Brianna usually gets one cookie. Okay. Isn't that adorable? Yeah. She's the only person that I, I would split up my packs of cookies for. There you go. And, not you just, and, not then, and then you just save one for her for the next time. <laughs> Here's the other half of your pack. Right? Yeah. <gasps> Can I warm your biscuit, Andrew? Please. Did you ever meet Caitlin on Parks and Rec? I just can't believe she's done on the 23rd. She's almost done. And you guys haven't even met me. Pardon? What's Caitlin? Caitlin. She's a gardener? Yeah, she's a gardener. Okay, yeah. Isn't she so nice? Yeah. I just can't believe. I feel like she just started and it's already time to start saying right. goodbye. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I can't get over it. We're watching all our summer folk go. Okay. I'm going to have to IOU. That's fine. I got I'm you, man. The shop. Oh my gosh, I love that, Andrew. I don't. I know you're good for it, man. Uh, honestly, if you're going to leave your wallet anywhere and then go anywhere, I want you to come here where you know you're safe. No, I, I still feel bad. Shall I tuck these into a tray? No, that's fine. For you? Thank you. You're welcome. For you, this one is Brianna's. Okay. This one is yours. Perfect. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Love you too. Bye, you. Andrew. Hello, Mora. Are you here for Fight Club? Yes. Yeah, I knew you I were. Said that you're gonna talk about Meet me out back. <laughs> Strawberry, peach, and watermelon. Oh, that's okay. Now, Fight Club is designed with a bit of sour in there, Mora, but I think you're not a sour person, right? Or do you like sour? I don't like a little Would sour. you like a little sour in there? Let's do it, Fight Club style. Cool. How are you doing today, my friend? Good, how are you? I'm doing really well, thank you. Excellent. Strawberry, peach, and watermelon. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's freaking gorgeous. I know. Hello, I'll be right with you, Elizabeth. It feels like summertime again. And this morning, it felt like we were plumly planted in fall. Yeah. I know. Right? Like mm 
-hmm. It was crisp. It was crisp. I woke up one morning and I was like, oh, my little plant babies, I hope you're happy. I can't help but notice you're in the Jeep again. Is your truck okay? Oh, it is? Is it still there or is it getting work done again? <laughs> it's getting work done here in a different place. It was at time for service getting something done and now it's getting all over the brakes and brake pads. Oh, yes. All and all the trees and chase 100%. All of those things that we need. Yep. I love that. I'm getting all ready for the winter time. Well, Mademoiselle, is there anything else I might serve you this fine afternoon? Beautiful. Laura, did you bring me your punch card today? Yeah, you did. Crazies. Woo! Fight club. Thank you. You're so welcome. Before you sip that drink, do you know the first rule of fight club? You know the first rule! I was like, you, I was like, I was I like, I like you're breaking the rule. I know! I suppose you can have your drink today. <laughs> I like how immediately you stopped. There you go. You're like, this is naughty. There you go. You're so welcome. I hope that you have a beautiful day, my friend. Thank you. I will see you very soon. Okay. Save. Andrew. Elizabeth, thank you for waiting, mademoiselle. What may I serve you today? What's the essence of it? What's the essence of it? What's in it? Is it like, uh, did we make it pink? No. no. Was it the frat, the blended one? Yeah. But with no coffee? Just a little bit of coffee. Right, just a little bit. Did we do chocolate chips in there? Did we do half white chocolate and half caramel? Or did we do all white chocolate? We did all white chocolate. You do, and you want to do the same thing. A little bit of coffee, chocolate chips, and then with cream on top? Yes. Let's do it. Is there anything else that I might serve you today, mademoiselle? Um. Cookies are four fifty for a pack. So with your drink, it will be ten seventy. Do you have enough? Yeah, you do. You want to do it? Uh, how much cookies? Two, two big cookies. Okay. Okay. You want to do it? And would a drink tray make your life easier today? Okay. No, that's okay. What are you doing down here today? Um, my mom went to Emmett with my sisters, and I decided to stay with my grandma. Oh my gosh, that's so fun! My mom went to Edmonton with all my sisters. Yes. Just to go to the supermarket. Why did you decide to stay home with Grandma today? Um, I just wanted to. Well, I can appreciate that. They still live back over here, hey? Nice. Your parents, or your grandparents, have lived back there since I was young. Do you know your Uncle Adrian? I was friends with your Uncle Adrian when I was a teenager. Isn't that so funny? What a small world, Elizabeth. It's ten dollars and seventy cents. I do have it. Yes. Do you want me to punch the one that's in here? Yes. Let's do it. I did lots of chores to get money. You did.
put on the phone. All right, all right, mademoiselle. You know what, they're extra monster. Last week it was really good too because their bakery was really hot. So when they were mixing the batter, the chocolate chips were mixing into it. And it was so good. All right, there you go. In just one sec for your change, okay? From 11. All right, Mademoiselle, there you go. You have safe travels back to Grandma's house. You. You're welcome. I'll see you, Elizabeth. Yeah. Trish, which one are you doing? I'm doing my... Your angry dragon? Yeah. The only thing, Trish, is that I only have oh, chilled club soda. There. I'm, is that terribly well, offensive? Know. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Of course not. I know, but I always like to have Luke. Let me just double check. I have no Luke. It's warm. fine. No, okay. I definitely don't. I'm happy. <laughs> How are you today? I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I just kind of ran late a little bit this morning. Yes. Things weren't working, and I was just like, can I... And I, you had a light up, and I, yeah. I just really need a coffee. Yeah, I just need Jessica, <laughs> sir. I'm so sorry. And I was just like, I, do, I need Jessica, and I need her coffee, and I need <laughs> to see Jessica. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad you did. Are you having a good week? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Paul's coming home today. From camp? Yeah. Yes, okay. So he's going to take the camper down tomorrow. Okay. And then okay. we're going to go get groceries this afternoon. And then are you guys going to go camping for the weekend? Yeah, he's going to take the camper down tomorrow. Where are you going? Um... Willem Lake? I've never Willem. been there. Yeah, Willem Lake. So, I've been there before, but honestly, I can't remember which one it is. We have so many lakes around here. Yeah, I, I've never been there, oh so gosh. I have no idea. And then and when then, you guys come home? Well, he's going to take it tomorrow, and then he's going to take the boat and us Friday. Okay, so tomorrow's Thursday. Yeah. So he so takes the trailer. the trailer. Then he comes home Friday. Yeah, and then we only have to take one vehicle. Oh, that's so nice for you. Our, and, and I don't have to drive... And you're, the, are you taking the boat? Yeah. So, so that's I like the last couple times I've pulled the boat. And you and don't I'm want to do getting it. used to it because uh -huh. it's a lot bigger than the old boat. Yeah. And so he's just like, I don't know the road. Uh huh. And it's gonna be a dirt road, I think. And he's like, I just don't want to put that stress. No, you just want to go have a, a nice holiday. Yeah. Yes. A nice stress. Yes. Driving. Yes, I can appreciate that. I mean, honestly, if you weren't stressing pulling a whole boat. I don't know if you would be human. Yeah, honestly. And he stresses me too. Why? Because he's like constantly, he's like, he call, he doesn't call me, he calls right. Yeah. He's like, uh, tell your mom, slow down, speed up, slow down, don't do this, don't, do, and it's like constant, like the whole way to even not like, Moberly. Like he's a backseat is, driver from a different vehicle. From a different vehicle. And I was just like, that's a special skill, Trish. I was just like, now what? You, guys, you, you should have walkie talkies. We do. You do have walkie talkies? Do, but you I don't want that. <laughs> too much contact. He'll, he'll talk to Riley. Okay. Because otherwise I'll be like, why are you calling me? And then Riley can filter it. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad you guys don't have to do that this weekend. Because that'll be much more relaxed yeah. for you. Because Riley is our filter. And he's like, why do I have to be your filter? And I'm like, because you are the middle child. That's exactly <laughs> it. That's exactly it. It's not my fault. It, you, you were born there. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's like, and Chandler left home. <laughs> so guess who gets to be it? Is Chandler going with you guys? No. 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 That's okay. He's coming up for my nephew's wedding. Yes. In a couple of weeks. Okay, nice. So, where is he right now? Chandler? Yeah. He's still in the Yukon. Oh, he's in the Yukon? Yeah. I don't think I knew that. He works in a mine. Oh, yes. yes. Summer. Yes. Yes. So. Good money for him, I would imagine. Uh, I don't know. He works for his father-in-law. Oh, he does? he pays him well. Oh, I can appreciate that. I just don't think he understands yeah but yeah hmm. but he doesn't have to pay bills because he lives with them makes a difference and i'm just like better than than me because uh -huh. i would make it pay bills <laughs> and, <laughs> and her mom like they'll let she'll let them sleep till like noon yeah and get up with kids and mm -hmm. feed them and do all that diapers and mm -hmm. i'm like oh, i think he peed and i hand it over <laughs> and was like sorry i've done this i'm done you know back in the day when my when my middle sister's oldest boy was born his name is dylan and we all lived together at that time and we had a rule that whoever touched the baby when his diaper needed to be changed had to change him so we played a constant game of uh oh wayne would you mind grabbing dylan i think i heard him over there only so that they would put hands on him so that we wouldn't have to do it so before you touch them you sniff them and then you say i'm robin i think maybe you should just check i don't know i can't do it 
my kids. I'll throw up. Yeah, I yeah. can appreciate that. When, if it's my own kids. Yeah. And when they were young. Yeah. It was fun. I could babysit. I could but grandbaby's not the same. But now it's been, you know, like yeah. 14 years yeah. since I've changed diapers. Yeah. And now I'm just like. Absolutely not. Oh, I just gay. I even if like when they go to the bathroom, yeah. I'm like, who didn't light a candle? <laughs> I lose my mind. It's and okay. Like, the whole way I'm like holding my breath, gagging. Yeah. And they're like, ah. Oh. It's okay. And it's like, Granny just made mom throw up. Yeah. Human waste is not for everyone. No. That's okay. That's okay. That's I can fly. All that. I yeah. Can do. Yeah. But you poo, can... no. Yeah. It's or funny. I was off. actually just having a conversation with someone who was driving a domestic waste truck. And I said it takes a very special person to do two day jobs to, to work with children and to work with human waste. But for vastly different they reasons. They come in and they smell. Like the one guy that comes to our Yeah. He comes in and he's like, Can I sign out? I'm like, No, you just stay there, please, because I can smell him before you. You can smell him. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Yeah, it just doesn't have to be for everyone. I'm just like, I just can't. Yeah. Can't even yeah. talk about it. <laughs> Look at you, though. You really don't like it. Like, oh my God. But anyway. So, did you give that guy his yeah. punch card for me, too? Uh, no, but I, I'll put his on yours. That's what I'll do. Oh, no. No, put mine, the, the one that I had this yeah. morning. Yeah, I put his. that one on. Oh, no, it's too late. That one, he oh. didn't have one. It's oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to put his on yours oh. from this morning. Okay, you have a beautiful day, Trish. You have a beautiful day. I'll see you later. direction. I had to think about that for a moment. I had to think, Cheryl, why would there be dirt in your eyes? But then I put it all together. And there it was. Every day above ground is a step in the right direction. That's exactly. Yeah, well. Ah. Okay, back to you, mademoiselle. I would like one of your Italian sodas. Oh, yes. Surprise me something zingy and fabulous. Let's do it, Cheryl. Ginger ale or club soda as a base? Ginger ale, please. Any whipping cream or nerds on top? Uh, yep. Are there any flavors that are off limits to me? I don't think so. No? Okay, beautiful. And a lemon loaf. What does that come up to? You? Ooh, let me tell you, Cheryl. You say nerds and whip on your Italian soda? Sure. Let's do it. And a slice of the lemon. Ten ninety, mademoiselle. Is that all right? Where are you out and about headed to? The babies! Lee and I were just talking about his babies today. Yeah. He was saying that his beans put four feet on that ramp only because a cat was there. I know, but she won't get a round ass down there. Isn't that amazing? It makes you wonder what happens to create such a block in their mind that they think I can't do stairs. Well, you know, poor bean, she really is not shaped for stairs. Is she is she rotund? Well, she is and then she's got little short stubby days. Okay. So my theory is, is that she feels like she's going to tip over while she's heading down the ramp. Right, because she's going to. Oh. That's theory, poor beans, poor Lee, poor everyone, honestly. Right? Yeah.
Oh, so if he was going to not want her anymore, she would go back? No, what it is is that she, the breeder wanted to keep her. Okay. But have her in a home. So she was thinking she could come and pick up me and take her to a show, take her back to the breeder and breed her, make puppies and stuff. But she did not, um, she made no contact with me. So Bean so didn't know Bean, that it was her mom. Exactly. Bean is bonded in the back. Yeah. And so she knows me and, the, and her dog yeah. and me. Yeah. Um, so Lee kind of pointed that out to her that it would not go very well. Yeah. If you just showed up stranger like. 100%. And tried to take, to take it. Yeah. The boys aren't going to take it either because that's their path. Yeah. And now you're, you're taking. No one's going to be happy with that. So then what was the result? So the result was is that Lee actually purchased me and she's no longer a guardian. Oh, I see. So he, she became Lee. Yes, I, I see. I don't think I realized that they were on such a journey together. I oh, see. And that was the thing. And I, I understand, I guess, she wants them to be in good home. Mm-hmm but still wants to be doing all the stuff with them. She wants to have her cake and eat it too. Correct. I but see. You have to make the time, otherwise the bond stops. 100%. Yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So you kind of got to go with that, Yeah, right? just do what you can do. So I think what she's done now, she still has the guardian program. Okay. And if you're involved in that, don't purchase the dog. Uh -huh. It's no cost to you. Their shots are taken care of every Right. But you have to be willing to have your pet leave anytime. Correct. Right. That's hard. Exactly. That's real hard. So if you kind of, I mean, you can come, but Lee's not. Lee's not the kind. Of, Lee's not the guy. Lee's not that guy. It's either his dog or it's not his 100 percent. Yes. Right? Yes. It's either his people or they're not his people. This is our Lee. 100%. I can appreciate that. Yeah. Yes. You have a wonderful day. Goodbye, together. Cheryl. Love you. This is Walker. It's nice to meet you, Walker. My name is Jessica. Nice to meet you. Hi, you guys. What can I get for you? Hello, my friend. I'll be right with you, Brennan. What can I get for you guys? Surprise, Surprise you? Not You're not getting anything. You're just going to say hi. I'm so glad you did. V, what can I get for you, Mademoiselle? Uh, also, surprise me. also surprise you today? Can't be my monsters. No. 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 Shall I surprise you with a different monster? Or a Red Bull? A Red Bull? Okay, let's do it. Okay, I'm do. Oh my gosh, what kind of bug was it? It was like that black bug. What? Earlier, you guys, I had a baby ladybug in here. I No, I don't anymore. I let it go outside. There was one in here earlier. It was very cool. All right, mademoiselles, is there anything else that I might serve the mamas today? Enjoy. Oh, yes, for you, Mademoiselle. 
Who, who would you like to have hold the cookies? Do you want to hold them? Uh, 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 That's uh, kind uh, of what I was wondering. Just what, squeeze that. What would a drink trim with your life easier be? Nope, we're good. You're okay? I got it. There you go. Drip off the baby. Your outfit's matching. That's adorable. Your shorts and her shirt. <laughs> That's really cute. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else I can do to serve you? That's good. Bye, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, you guys, who am I adding this to? Or separate? Bye. Yeah, okay, you got it. Bye. Hello, Brandon. How are you today? Good. I'm doing really good, sir. What can I serve you today? You want to do the fog today and a pack of cookies? Oh, keeping it classic, Brandon. Like old times. Are you on a day off today? I am. Actually. I love that. What are you going to do with it? Uh, well, so far I'm just glad I didn't do accident. You accidentally <laughs> fell asleep with your cat? Yeah. <gasps> Isn't that the best? We have a rule in our house. If there's a cat on top of you, it means you are with cat and you do not have to do anything else. Somebody needs a glass of water. You gotta get it, bro. I'm with cat. I'm so sorry. The house is burning. You're gonna have to call 911. I'm with cat. I'm so sorry. It's a rule. It makes sense. A pack of cookies for you first, Brennan. There you go. You're welcome. What are you gonna do with the rest of your day? Home. I like that for you. It's supposed to reach a high of 25 degrees today. Nice Feeling a little bit like summertime. Uh, am I remembering correctly that we do not put any cinnamon in your London Fog, sir? Perfect. Did you bring for me your punch card? Beautiful. Gracias. You, sir, are now on your free one for next time. There you go. She is precious now. And a cookie and a London fall. A 10 a one, Brandon. Do I still do what? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, this time of year, mostly garden things. Yes. Uh, yesterday and the weekend, I spent a lot of time picking shell peas and then shelling them and freezing them. Yes, yes. Indeed. That's mostly the biggest thing that's going on in my life in the afternoon. Yes. I think we started closing at 12. Springtime? It might be even longer than that. Honestly, I can't tell you for the life of me when I started doing that. Uh, considering what time you started the party, I think it's starting. It is very early, Brennan. It is very early. 100%. I do like it, though. I find that as a result of it, because it's fully my schedule now, on days off, if I sleep in, let's even say past 6, although I can't remember the last time that happened, I'm so upset with myself because I lost so much good day. Yeah. Yes. Do you spend very much time outside in the summertime? I try to. You do? Uh, this summer I've still been I feel like I remember as though in a dream. Yes, but maybe update me. Oh, ain't nobody got time for pooping problems. I'm so sorry, Brandon. So, do you think it's an allergy? Like, do you think that you're reacting to something? I have no idea. It has been. And is there anything that you've done that has given you relief? Uh, no, no, no. no, you haven't? Oh, Brennan. I'm so sorry, man. Ain't nobody got time for that. Good. So you're going to deal with a specialist now. Okay, good. Good. Here you go, my friend. Okay, I'm also going to give you one of these for your next London Fog because... My frother didn't froth. It heated the milk, but it didn't hold the foam. So I'm going to give you this so that the next time I can give you a nice foamy one. It should still taste the same. It's just going to have less fro froth. So when do you go see the gastroenterologist? Okay. A gastro-oncologist? gastro Enterologist? As though he goes into your gastrointestines. Okay. Entroentologist. Oh, you did? Did you feel lighter afterwards? Did they clean you out while they were in there? Uh, no. Did that oh, you do that before. Did they find any polyps? Uh, no, they found, uh... Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Seems fine. So what do those lesions cause? Okay. But that's, so why do you have a collection of white blood cells there? That's odd, isn't it? Usually your soldiers uh, bring themselves together for a reason. And that's what your white blood count is, right? Interesting. Maybe this new guy will have more information on that. Okay. And it just hit you suddenly one day? Yeah. That's wild, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, you remember you came to see me that day? No, Brennan! Yeah. Was that when you guys were going for like a memorial service or something? A funeral, I remember that. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Brennan. Yeah. And this happened immediately after you left here, or this happened partway through your trip? Uh, I would say... <laughs> oh no, and then you had that whole trip feeling that poorly. Oh no, Brennan. Yeah, no kidding, hey? Yeah, that's wild. Well, I'm glad that you're making movement on that journey. Ain't nobody got time to be stuck in a limbo like that. Yeah. No, seriously, not worrying about where the nearest bathroom is. Yeah, I can appreciate that, man. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, I hope that that doesn't hurt you at all today. Now I feel a little nervous about it, honestly. Okay. Okay. Well, have a good day, my friend. I'll see you soon, Brandon. Oh, I had an itch that was so wildly itchy right here. Oh, man. I don't know if it was a little fuzz. Okay. I just have to scratch my face and then wash my hands. Here we go. here you don't feel like I'm shutting you out because that is indeed not my intention my intent is to let you guys in more and I'm really really looking forward to this and after today I'm really excited for this and I hope you guys are too but regardless I just wanted to say thank you you guys are all so cool okay here we go you guys I'm going to scroll and I'm going to answer a question wham it's not a question but proud of you for doing what you need to do but never forget to wham Jordan who is the originator of the wham left me that message earlier today. Again, wham, is a water appreciation moment, my friends. And I encourage us all to take one right now. Okay, now I'm gonna get this shop reset and I'm going to answer another question as I felt. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Yes, I'll answer another question. My shop is a hot mess, but that's okay. I'm allowing myself to have a hot mess day today. And I need to ring through Cheryl's. And Cheryl says she brought me $11. Okay. Thanks for being live. It was good to see you again. Dennis, thank you so much if you're still here. So happy that you are back, Jess. You truly make a beautiful difference all around. Andrew, I truly, truly hope so. Okay. Let's see. Are you and Chris going to do a vow renewal still? Maybe live? Marcy asks. Yes, absolutely, you guys. And it is on our calendar. That's how you know it's official. Let me show you. On September 
20 seconds. Him, him, him. Is it on our calendar? Yes. Look. On September 22nd, it says live event, wedding. That's it, you guys. That's it. I'm very much looking forward to it. You guys are going to help me plan it as we get closer to it and get ready. I thought that that would be the most fun thing. Rather than me planning everything in surprise and then unleashing it, I think that we'll talk about it as I make plans. And you guys know I'm a day-to-day -day kind of a person. So looking two months in the future is definitely stretching for me, but I'm going to do it, and we're going to plan it together. Two and with our wedding renewal on September 22nd, which is also the day that we actually got married, you guys. Okay, here we go, Cheryl. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. You guys, I'd like to show you this counting style. I call it a casino count. And with quarters, I have them organized in the easiest pattern for my eye to recognize, which is stacks of a dollar. And then I just do them vertically. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. The reason I do a casino count like this is because if you ever count your money and then you get to the end and you think, was I on? This way, I can look down and see, was my counting correct or did I have an error? Versus if I just had a pile of money, I would have to count it again to know for sure. But this way, I just glance down. I see my 10 piles. Yep, $10. All right, and then all of this goes into my drawer. Are you going to sing to us at the end of the live? J.R. Gill, indeed I am. Yes, yes. I had a baby in May. I'm enjoying being a mom of two. I kept playing Station Nation. Little kitten, I am so proud to have been a part of your and your kids' lives. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Did you enjoy the shop more or less without the streaming live? Linda, I see your question, Linda. You guys, I'm going to say yes. I enjoyed it both more and less. This is why. I really found that after a year and a half of being live every day, I really had some like good heart to hearts to have with people. And I really found that the moment I turned off the live, my jokes got a lot darker. And it was really nice to let those things out. Also, you guys, to be able to use the bathroom when usually I wait until my breaks. I know that that's really exciting for me. That's why I paused on it. But to be able to use the bathroom without having to worry about you guys waiting for me to, before 10 a.m., Oh my gosh, that was so delightful. Now let's talk about the things I didn't like as much. I really feel like when I'm in the shop, as long as you guys are here with me, even when I'm not serving a customer, I'm being productive and I'm fulfilling a purpose with you guys. And Sunshine11980, Andrea, welcome to the Crewbies. Thank you for supporting this show. And you guys, but when you're not here, I'm definitely by myself. And so it feels slightly less productive because I'm not constantly connecting with people, but then I'm connecting with myself. So Linda, if I were to answer you 100% honest, I would say, yes, I like it better without the live stream. And yes, I like it better with the live stream. I know I'm on a journey, I'm on a journey. Hey Jess, I have no question, but I got three teeth pulled. So I'm very sore and in a bit of pain. Leanne, my real life friend. I'm so sorry, Leanne. I hope your mouth is feeling okay. Okay, what is your fondest childhood memory? Welcome back to live, Jess. Tina, thank you so much. What is my favorite childhood memory? I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, I have a good one. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's a really good one. Back in the day, we used to go to a place that if you've been here the whole day, you would have heard me talk about already today. It's called Inga Lake. And it was about 20 minutes from our childhood home. And when I was a kid, my parents had two dogs. They were German Shepherd, uh, German Shepherd Boxer Crosses, and their names were Cheyenne and Dakota. And we used to go to this park for our Mother's Day or Father's Day picnics. And it was really funny because when I was a kid, I wasn't a camper, and neither was my mama. And so I don't have camping memories there but I have a distinct memory of being at that lake for either Mother's Day or Father's Day and we were feeding Dakota hot dogs and I have a memory of us all being together and Dakota with a little wiener sticking out of his mouth and 
and today that is going to be my fondest memory that I draw from. Thank you for that question. I really love it. Okay, another question. Have you been to Winnipeg? I have been there so many times. I have family there. I've driven through Manitoba, but I've never spent any time in Winnipeg. Oh, another question. This isn't a question, but you truly saved my life. Thank you so much, Jess. You guys, thank you for sharing your journeys with me. I know that you guys maybe don't know how much this community means to everyone, or maybe you do, but I have the honor of receiving private messages from you guys. Erin, thank you for gifting a, a sub. And I just wanted to say, I'm just so moved and so touched. This space, I know, is making changes that are positive. And I know because you guys tell me. And my heart is just so happy with you guys. And my heart breaks with you at the same time. Because I know that not everyone is going through an easy season of life. And I just thank you all so much. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, okay. I'm only walking away as an end to that question. Natal extended their one month subscription. Welcome. Pops, thank you for the ice cream. Okay, TikTok comments being off is throwing me. Just got on to see what I missed. Mandy, I'm so sorry. I hope that I've done a good job of letting people know. Okay, you should get a food truck and in 2028 go to the Olympics in LA. <gasps> you guys, I would love a truck that was mobile. I would love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, if a reader, what book are you currently reading from Heather? Heather, I have two books that are on the go right now. One is called... Come see me tomorrow, Heather. And I'm going to have put both of those books in my bag so that I can show you. Because as it's coming out of my mouth, I don't, I'm not confident that I know what the titles of these books are. Okay, bring books show live. Specifically, Heather. Stay tuned, you guys. I'll bring them tomorrow. I have one adventure book on the way because I really wanted an adventure book specifically where the protagonist or the main character was a female. And so I have that and it's about a girl who leaves an island to save someone. I don't know. And then I have a second book that is more educational about the human body and I will bring those to show you. Keep your sanity. Comments off forever, Miss Joy says. Thank you, Joy. <gasps> So glad to see you back live. How was the season of rest? It was so restful, you guys. And I thank you for giving me the, fr the freedom to it. What's the weather like there? You guys, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Will you be mine? I'm going to show you. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. You guys, this apple tree is loaded with apples. I'm gonna walk you towards it and perhaps my Wi-Fi will drop out. If it does, I'll go back inside immediately. <laughs> you guys dropping out of the live will tell me. But look, you guys, loaded this whole tree. So if you're local and you would like apples, please, please come and pick my apples, you guys. They're delicious. They're small like a crab apple, but they're actually quite sweet. <laughs> one, two, three sirens set up in Taylor and they test them every Wednesday to make sure in the case of an emergency that they all work. And the reason why we have those, my friends, this is a very controversial fact about this area. And you probably know if you've been here for a while, but the reason that we have them, I'm gonna take you back outside to show you again, is because the village of Taylor, where I am located, has gas plants that are located within its city limits, which is wonderful for our economy because they really, really invest in us. But right over here is where those gas plants are. And if there was ever an emergency, they need to know that they can alert the town of Taylor so that we can all get out of here. Because we have, I do believe, a main line that runs up this boulevard. You should Google all of those things because I could be incorrect. But that, that's basically the gist of it. Okay, what are the chances we would go outside at the exact time to hear that alarm? Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Okay, you guys. Oh, are we closed? You can't even tell me these days. My friends, we are closed. Let's move our cones. First, I'm going to turn off my live light. Boom. Done, son. I'm done. 
I'm going to turn off my on-air sign. Boop. Done. And then I'm going to move my cone. My friends, my friends, this is a pop quiz. And I can't hear you, but I'm going to believe you're answering me. Do you know what another name for a traffic cone is? I'm going to tell you the answer as soon as I come back. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go move this cone into the center of my drive-thru as a visual indicator that we are closed. And when I come back, I'm going to give you the answer to our pop quiz. I bet you did. I know you did. That's right, you guys. A delineator is a another name for a traffic cone. All right, all right, my coffee friends. You guys, we have done it. We have done our first whole day of live back. We are now in mood lighting. I guess I didn't need to turn that off right away. And I am going to say thank you one more freaking time, you guys, because you know that I can't say it enough. I am so very thankful for each and every single one of you who is here with me today. I hope that you had a great day. I know that I did. And you guys, I hope that you're here with me tomorrow because I will be back for you at 6 a.m. And my friends, I am committed to showing up here with peppiness in my step and gratitude in my soul. And I hope that you're here with me. But now, my friends, do you know what time it is? I know you do. Is your can ready? I have mine. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Okay. I need a microphone. Libby, thank you for the ice cream cone. You guys, honestly, that sounds very nice today. It's so very hot. Our hascaps, hascaps are berry. They're kind of like a sour blueberry, have been um, ripe at home. And I got myself some coconut Greek yogurt, and I've been having that with a bit of granola and then has cat berries. Ah, so good. Angela, thank you for the heart meat. Anna, thank you for the ice cream cone. My friends, my friends, without further ado, it is time for me to sing to you. And if this is your very first time here for this part, my friends, this song is called Station Nation. And it's a song that I have made for you guys with my sister Michelle and her music partner Todd. And you can listen to it wherever you stream your music at any time. It's called Station Nation. But right now we're going to sing it together. And I'm going to turn this back on. I thought I could leave it off, you guys. I can't. I can't. All right, my friends. Without further ado, it's time for me to sing to you. It is... your song. It is my song. It is what? Our song. You guys, it's our song. That's right. Station freaking nation. Are you ready? Mm, mm, mm. Whoa, that's a new microphone. Ashley, thank you. Are you ready? Not gonna sing the blues no matter what ensues. Rain or shine, I'll build you up. We got the fuel to get things started. Hello, my friend. Get up, let's rule the day. Let's start this quest. Cause life's what is it? An adventure. That's right. We're the station nation. Got atomic joy. Here to spread it like a mushroom cloud. We're the station nation. Got a town they joy. We're the station nation. We're the station nation. Through the pain brought by clouds in a turbulent sky. I know you're by my side. Resistant to the changing tides and seasons. Stack them high and let them fly. Each day with the dawn until it inspires you. As the morning sun rises, let's swing the window open. Let them hear, the day is here, my dears. Keep on smiling. We're the station nation, got atomic joy. 
Get a spread it like a mushroom cloud We're the station nation Got atomic joy We're the station nation We're the station nation Through the pain brought by clouds In a turbulent sky No ash lanes by my side Resistant to the changing tides And seasons To love is the greatest piece of wonderful. Do you have your? Do you have your can? We're the station nation. Got a some joy. Here to spread it like a mushroom cloud. We're the station nation. Got a some joy. We're the station nation. We're the station nation. Through the pain brought by clouds in a turbulent sky, I know you're by my side. Resistant to the changing tides and seasons. Cheers! You guys, thank you so, so much for showing up for me today and every day. I hope you had a beautiful day, and I hope I get to see you tomorrow. Until then, bye, you guys. Bye, bye, bye. Cheers. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, two hours later, sweetest treats we could find.